Greetings fam. I want to share some information I think is important. Now as a result of the plastics that we all deal with uh, from products we buy, commercial use of plastics in almost every item we buy from food wrappers and eating utensils to electronics and packaging for 90% of the non-consumable things that we buy, particles called microplastics are starting to show up in large amounts in the food supply. Now the main contamination at this point is the table salt. This is due to the heavy and mostly unreported poisoning of the oceans with plastic waste. Now in skimming the surface, it appeared that the salt pollution was mostly centered in Asian regions. But upon further study, I found that much of the U.S. salt supply is poisoned with plastic too. This is due to the importation of salt, as well as the U.S. waters being among the most com contaminated regions. Also, U.S. contamination is shown to be prevalent due to the fact that 90% of the salt sold globally tested positive for microplastic in this global study. Now, the crisis is so bad in Indonesia that there's been a multinational partnership that's been developed to deal with the crisis. And since things are getting worse here, according to the studies, I wonder if that's where we're headed also. And even if we are, would the American public even be notified of the severity? You know, I found it interesting also that Coca-Cola, Nestle, the Canadian Embassy, and the United Kingdom Embassy are, are both involved in the Indonesia crisis. But again, here in the U.S., this issue is barely even mentioned, as far as I know. The plastics they find in the oceans vary in size from microscopic to one-fourth of a centimeter in size. And the way the plastic finds its way into the food supply is open to several different interpretations and speculations. But for the most part, or rather the sure thing that is known, is that all waters are contaminated with plastic. And as food items undergo more and more studies, they're finding it in more and more spaces, in more and more foods. The more studies they do, the more they find these plastics, these microplastics. And there's studies going on all the time. And these studies not only encompass the effects of microplastics, but airborne plastics as well which are known to cause cancers in people who work around industries where plastics are produced. Speaking of which, there's also a danger from plastic packaging. Now this is due to tiny bits of plastic debris or shards that are thinly left attached to plastic containers as a result of being separated from the molding as they're manufactured. Now I've personally witnessed plastic debris in these thin, cheap water containers when I used to buy certain brands of distilled water. And I could look into the open bottle and literally see very small pieces of plastic floating around in the water, which I thought were air bubbles at first, but they never collapsed. So as I continued to look and see, I found out that they were actually pieces of plastic. So I would definitely say in light of that fact, stay away from thin plastic consumable fluid containers or food items wrapped in plastic in general. As far as the salt, stay with salts taken from salt mines such as Himalayan salt, which is actually from Pakistan for the most part, or use authentic rock salt. These are not polluted with microplastics. Limit your intake of scallops and other bottom feeding crustaceans like shrimp, lobster, clams, and oysters. Canned food with acidic properties are especially susceptible to microplastic particles because the acidic food actually breaks down the BPA plastic lining of the can. And I know it's crazy, but studies have shown that some of the biggest ingestations of plastic actually come from products like tea bags sealed with plastic. When they're soaked in boiling water, the plastic seal places microplastic directly into the brew. So it's best to get tea bags sealed with staples, or you can use loose leaf tea and strain it in stainless steel nets. 
All in all, always be mindful of what you consume. Till next video, peace. If you learned from this video, help support the study in time to bring this knowledge to our community. It does take time and effort to be concise and as accurate as possible so that we can stay abreast of important health information and techniques. Please visit the site and follow these links.